Hi boys and girls. We're going to read a book today called Planets. It's a non-fiction book that teaches us all about our solar system, which is perfect because that's what we're learning about in science right now. It's kind of a long book, so I might have to skip some parts, but I think I'll be able to get most of the facts and really interesting information. Here's the table of contents. There's three different chapters. Chapter one, stars and planets. Look up into the sky at night. What do you see? Stars. Stars are huge balls of hot and glowing gases. They're so hot and so bright that you can see them from Earth, even though they're very, very far away. Most of these stars have planets around them. A planet is a large round object that orbits or travels around a star. There are other, oh sorry, there are other rocks and objects that also orbit the sun, but planets are special. They are larger and more round than other space objects. Planets orbiting a star. Our sun. What bright object can be found in the sky during the day? The sun. Did you know that the sun is a star? Earth is one of the planets that orbits our sun. Can you think of another planet? The sun is at the very center of our solar system. In fact, the word solar means sun. Everything in our solar system orbits the sun. That means goes around the sun. Some planets go around quickly. Others are slower. The time it takes for a planet to orbit the sun is the length of that planet's year. Earth takes 365 days to orbit the sun. That's why our year is 365 days. Our solar system. Our solar system has eight planets. Some planets are made of rock. Others are made of gas. Planets like Venus are very hot, too hot to live on. Others like Neptune are very cold. One planet is not too hot or too cold. Can you guess which planet it is? That's right, it's Earth. There's an easy way to remember the names of the planets and their order from the sun. Here's the trick. Just look at the first letter of each of the words in this saying. My very educated mother just served us nachos. I love nachos. So the first letter in each of those words has the same first letter as the planets that are in order. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Skip that part. Chapter two, rocky planets. There are four rocky planets. Mercury is one of them. It's the smallest planet in our solar system. It's about the same size as Earth's moon. It orbits the sun very fast. One year on Mercury is only 88 days. If you lived on Mercury, you would celebrate your birthday four times a year. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. During the day, it's 10 times hotter than the hottest summer day on Earth. But the nights are colder than the inside of a freezer. Brr. Mercury is covered in big holes called craters. It has more craters than any other planet. The craters were made when huge space rocks smashed into it. Venus. Do you know any twins? I know twins. Venus is often called Earth's twin. It's about the same size as Earth, and it's also our closest planet neighbor. But that's pretty much where the similarities stop. You could never live on Venus. 
Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is the hottest planet in our solar system. It's so hot, it sizzles. Venus has thick yellow clouds that trap heat from the sun. The surface of Venus is covered in volcanoes. These volcanoes have erupted all over the planet, creating strange shapes. Some of these look like pancakes, but they're too hot to eat. There's the surface of Venus. Earth. Planet Earth is our home. It is the third planet from the sun. It's not too hot and not too cold. It's not too dry and not too wet. Some people call Earth the Goldilocks planet. Can you guess why? It's just right for things to live and grow. Earth is very special. It's the only planet that we know of that has life. Plants and animals live everywhere on Earth. They live on land and in water. Most of Earth is covered with water. That's why it looks so blue from outer space. If you were looking at Earth from space, you would be able to see the water and land and even clouds. Our moon. Our solar system has just one star, but many moons. Like a planet, a moon is round and travels in an orbit. But instead of orbiting the sun, a moon orbits a planet. Some planets have many moons. Some planets have no moons. The Earth is the only planet with just one moon. The moon is our closest neighbor in space. But unlike Earth, there is no life on the moon. There is no air to breathe or water to drink. There are no clouds or rain or wind or snow. Earth's moon is made of rocks. Like Mercury, it is covered in craters. Mars. Of all the planets, Mars is most like Earth. Both are made of rocks. Like Earth, Mars has many mountains and volcanoes. Earth has one moon, but Mars has two. Mars is also very different from Earth. Earth looks like a big blue ball, but Mars is deep red in color. It's called the red planet because its rocks are full of rusty iron. There is no air to breathe on Mars and it is very cold. It has strong winds that blow its soil around. These dust storms can last for months. Okay. Oh, we're gonna skip that page too. Chapter three, the gas planets. Some planets like Earth are made of rock, but others like Jupiter are made of gas. Gas is like air. Gas planets are huge balls of super thick air without a hard surface. What keeps Jupiter's gas from floating away and holds it in a round planet-like shape? Gravity. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls the gas in. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Over a thousand Earths could fit inside Jupiter. Jupiter has 67 moons, more than any other planet. Its largest moon is three times the size of Earth's moon and almost as big as Mars. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth, <coughs> is the sixth planet from the sun. It is the second largest planet, nine times larger than Earth. But it is so light that it would float in water. Like Jupiter, Saturn is made up of mainly gas. But what makes Saturn stand out from the rest? It's jumbo rings. The rings are made of bits of ice, rock, and dust. They look like hula hoops. Saturn has 62 moons. 
Titan is the biggest. It's larger than Mercury. Just like Earth, Titan has oceans and lakes, but they're filled with poisonous liquids. One year on Saturn is about 29 years on Earth. If you were born in 2008, your next birthday on Saturn wouldn't be until the year 2037. Wow. Uranus. Next to Saturn is Uranus. It is also a gas planet. It's the third largest planet and four times the size of Earth. Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system and appears as an icy blue color. What else is different about Uranus? It's sideways. Uranus is the only planet to spin on its side. This means that night on some parts of Uranus can last more than 40 years. Like Saturn, Uranus has rings, but there are not as many and they're not as bright. Uranus has 27 moons. Its largest is Titania. Even so, Earth's moon is about 20 times larger. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet in our solar system. It is the farthest from the sun. Neptune is about the same size as Uranus. Like Uranus, it is blue and made of gas. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. The wind is so strong that it could pick up an elephant. Dwarf planets. Dwarf planets are round objects like planets. They orbit the sun, just like other planets, but they're much smaller than the other planets in our solar system. We know of five dwarf planets in our solar system, but scientists believe that there are hundreds more. Pluto is the most famous dwarf planet. It was named by an 11 year old girl. It used to be the ninth planet in our solar system, but scientists decided it was too small. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this reading about planets and all about our solar system. I miss you all very much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.